Praise the Lord. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration on the feast of the baptism of the Lord. We pray for divine retreats and as some us be. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreats and as some us be. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this year temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defense. After the Lord was baptized, the heavens were opened and the Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And the voice of the Father thundered, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Today, we celebrate the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, almost concluding this Christmas season and entering into the ordinary times where Jesus was really hidden in his life in Nazareth and coming towards his public ministry. Brothers and sisters, as we are here on this Sunday, let's offer a personal life, our life with Christ, our life in the Lord. Offer it at the feet of Jesus. Whatever that you want to pray, offer in silence and ask the Lord for a help. Let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess God. to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared to him, Your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. The first reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Oh, come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails you to, satis fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favors promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples, a leader and a master of the nations. See, you will summon a nation you never knew. Those unknown will come hurrying to you for the sake of the Lord your God of the Holy One of Israel, who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his way, the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn back to the Lord who will take pity on him, to our God who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above earth as my ways are above your ways. My thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower, and bread for the eating, so the word that goes from my mouth go, does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. The word of the Lord. A response, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Truly, God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my savior. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Response. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Our response, you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. 
a response you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation the second reading a reading from the first letter of saint john whoever believes that jesus is the christ has been begotten by god and whoever loves the father that begot him loves the child whom he begets we can be sure that we love god's children if we love god himself and do what he has commanded us this is what loving god is keeping his commandments and his commandments are not difficult because anyone who has been begotten by god has already overcome the world this is the victory over the world our faith who can overcome the world only the man who believes that jesus is the son of god jesus christ who came by water and blood not with water only but with water and blood with the spirit as another witness since the spirit is the truth so that there are three witnesses the spirit the water the blood and all three of them agree we accept the testimony of human witnesses but god's testimony is much greater and this is god's testimony given as evidence for his son the word of the lord i stand for the gospel acclamation alleluia 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 john saw jesus approaching him and said this is the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world alleluia 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 the lord be with you reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord in the course of his preaching john the baptist said someone is following me someone who is more powerful than i am and i am not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals i have baptized you with water but he will baptize you with the holy spirit it was at this time that jesus came from nazareth in galilee and was baptized in the jordan by john no sooner had he come up out of the water than he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit like a dove descending on him and a voice came from heaven you are my son the beloved my favor rest on you the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear loving children of god as we are on this beautiful feast day of jesus baptism the readings all the three readings are almost close to the main message of today connected with the baptism of our lord jesus christ we know this history in judaism at that time of jesus baptism is normally conducted as an immersion immersion means when people go and immersing into the water getting into the water immersing in the water that is a sign that people are trying to wash away their sins because flowing water is all already considered as the sign of life flowing water 
So once you get into the water and immersed totally into the water, that is a sign while you are inside the water, you are cleansing your life completely and cleansing all kinds of sin. And when you come out of the water, it is just kind of an resurrection that you are totally free from the sins of your life. Now, look at today's gospel. How can we apply this particular uh, notion towards Jesus' baptism? Because Jesus is born without sin. What's the point of Jesus being baptized? Is there any point that Jesus need to get baptism? When we read the Gospel of Matthew chapter 3, there Saint John, he asked a question to Jesus. It is I who need to come to you to get baptism, but yet you come to me. So John clearly speaks to Jesus, it's not you come to me because you are born without sin. You are son of God. I need to come and get baptism from you. Brothers and sisters, when we celebrate the baptism of Jesus, that speaks to us very clearly one or two messages which I am trying to share with you. The first and foremost, the baptism of our Lord speaks to us that his public testimony that who he is, Jesus is son of God. Jesus is having the close contact and intimacy with the Father and with the Holy Spirit. That's why when he comes out of the water, the heaven tore apart and from there the voice came. The dove came in, uh, in the form of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove and the voice came powerfully from Father I am well pleased, you are my son, my favor is rest on you. It's a clear indication for everyone, he is son of God and who he is and his close contact and intimacy with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In a way, a public, a pub, a, a public testimony who Jesus is. And again, when he receives the baptism, look at his humility. Even though there is no point for Jesus to get baptized, if you go through the, those gospel passages, especially in Matthew, Jesus was also in a big queue with the people who are re getting ready to go into the water for receiving baptism. What is the point of Jesus being that big queue to get a baptism? a kind of solidarity with the wretchedness and the vulnerabilities of the humanity that I am also a sinner. Even though Jesus did and Jesus uh, is not a sinner, but a kind of a solidarity, I'm going to carry the guilt of the people on my shoulder and I'm going to die for them. Being one with the people, being with his children, that is something amazing. And the third one, dear loving children of God, when we celebrate the feast of this baptism, let us try to remember, even though we don't remember anything about our own baptism, those days, but during the time of baptism, we all become the children of God officially. And it is at the time of baptism, we have that walking of the Holy Spirit actively and powerfully in our personal life. So we thank God. Wonderful sacrament in the church, the baptism, especially those parents who are preparing or getting ready to give baptism to your children. Keep in mind all these things. And also the parents, especially in the present world, when you delaying baptism for your children, this is a sacrament that you are uh, in a way, maybe due to many reasons, or maybe you have got your own valued reasons why you are not giving this baptism, this sacrament towards your own son or a daughter. But you need to understand they don't belong to you. They have come only through you, but they don't belong to you. Your duty to give Jesus to your children. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand, we proclaim our faith in Christ. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sin, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Pause for a moment. Offer all our prayers and petitions along with bread and wine. Remembering all the parents who are delaying this sacrament of baptism towards their children. And the parents who may be having this intellectual thinking that I'm not going to give baptism to my children when they get, uh, maybe when the days are passed by or when they come to know what is good and real, let them receive if they wish. Such a parents, Lord, we offer them because they have, they cannot compare their maturity with the children's maturity at that stage. We pray your wisdom come to each one of us. Let us act all in a right manner. And we offer all the people who are struggling in the world connected with the COVID-19. all kinds of chaos that's going on in different parts of the world. We pray for God's peace and harmony and unity. Offering the entire Catholic Church, Pope Francis, our Bishop Anthony, and all the leaders of the church and nations, Offering a personal intention. Whatever we said and unsaid, let us offer everything along with the bread and wine and we pray to God, Lord, receive our humble prayers through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be seated and Let's prepare ourselves for offertory. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, maybe we come to, maybe we accepted by you, Lord, and maybe our sacrifice in your sight is to be pleasing to wash me, cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with the signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the walking of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may ob obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we relay for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of the all world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Anthony, a bishop, and order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I do this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Amen. Communion and Ephraim. Behold the one of whom John said, I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished with the, these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we might be your children in the name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives.
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest, O Jesus, turn up, please. Keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart. Why none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and earthly their hearts, with the sublime march of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits. And may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us, obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Thank you.